In this short video, we're going to take a few minutes to think about contracting out. Now, contracting out refers to the policy of outsourcing certain functions of local or central government or public services generally, outsourcing that to private companies rather than have them performed by the government or the public sector. So what are some examples of contracting out in the UK? Well, some of the most notable examples include the following. First of all, local authority services. It could be the case that your local council outsources garbage collection, ref refuse collection, to a private sector business. It could be the case that a local uh, landscape business has a contract to run a, a, a council park. The private finance initiative is a key one, and we'll talk a bit more about that in a second. Uh, this is an important policy, a method of funding uh, public infrastructure projects, building a new school, a new hospital, by having uh, private companies design, bid, and uh, maintain the facilities, having won a contract to do that, while the government pays for the services over a long time period. And there's loads of other areas of government life that have been outsourced, ranging from IT, from software development and data management, to the outsourcing of city bus services or local train uh, company, local train services under a regional contract arrangement. And things like security. So private sector security companies are often contracted to provide securities for government buildings, public events such as the Olympics in 2012 and other high security areas. Now, the process of contracting out has been controversial in the UK and one of the most controversial aspects is PFI, or Private Finance Initiative. Now, why is the Private Finance Initiative controversial? Well, essentially, uh, it's a way of bringing the private sector in to fund uh, and deliver uh, big infrastructure projects, a new school, a new hospital, maybe a new public building or an improved road. Uh, so here are three criticisms of Private Finance Initiative. First of all, high cost. Critics make the case that PFI projects are often more expensive to complete than if the government funded them by borrowing money, issuing bonds or through taxation. Typically, private sector companies driven by the profit motive, they charge higher rates of interest and they have higher costs associated with delivering it. Critics of PFI claim that the PFI project uh, programme uh, causes a loss of public control over really important infrastructure and often... Uh, the actual award process of the tenders and the contracts, they tend to get skewed disproportionately to a small number of large companies. Many small companies find it hard to win, to bid for and win these projects. And that limits competition and results in higher costs and ultimately, of course, higher government spending and higher government borrowing. Uh, the UK government would argue that PFI is a way of financing projects that otherwise would not have been possible by bringing in private sector finance. Uh, there has been a change to PFI. The government's basically phased out the original model and they've now brought in a new model of PFI, which hopefully makes the process more transparent, uh, offers greater value for money, including penalty clauses on projects, and uh, reduces the risk or shares the risk between the government and the private sector. So there we go. Contracting out, outsourcing certain functions to private companies. Not quite privatisation, although it's a form of privatisation. Uh, and it's good to have some examples of contracting out for your notes.